Hey guys, so today we're gonna go pick up a new block for my engine. Um, I got it back at Christmas for my parents, but my dad's been keeping it at his warehouse ever since. Um, so today we're gonna drive over there, uh, go grab it, and then um, we're gonna put it on a stand, just kind of clean it up a bit. And then I'll probably work on it a bit tomorrow because we gotta get it prepped for when it goes to the machine shop to get bored out and honed. Alright, so I just finished up cleaning this off. Looks a lot better. It was super dirty before. But now we're gonna put the mount the engine on and we'll be good. Alright, so just to move the top right here we're gonna mount the engine to. Um, here it is here. Uh, so right now we're just looking for some bolts that'll fit these threads here. We're gonna use these two and these two here. Um, for uh, anyone wondering, this is a B18C. Can't really see it right now. The lighting's probably not too great. But B18C, so we're gonna correct my LSV tech and just go back to a B18C. We're gonna run the B18B um, transmission though, just because the, um, the transmission for the B18B has longer gears, so we get better turbo pulls um, and boosts and stuff. But other than that, uh, we're just going to mount it up right now and then we'll put it back onto the end of the stand. Alright, so we got the engine on the stand now. Um, I took it out uh, mainly because what I'm going to be doing is I've got to take it to a shop. I'm going to have it bored out. Um, I've got new pistons and rods for it. Um, it needs to be honed. But we're gonna take it apart um, probably tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. Just kind of uh, engine on the engine stand now. I'm pretty excited for it. So it's the next day. I'm gonna start on um, taking apart the engine now, and uh, yeah, I'll just kind of jump to that. I need to check the crank. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll need a new one. It's kind of not. It might be seized up, so we'll kind of see. But yeah, I'll jump to taking off the oil pan, and then yeah. This is the oil pump here off um, the front casing to check to see if the crank would turn over. Unfortunately, I'm not able to just right now, just from kind of um, putting on the timing belt and pulling on it. But we'll see. We'll take it apart and kind of see. We're gonna have to clean it up too. But yeah, now we're gonna jump off to taking this off and diving in. All right, next we are removing this here. Damn, the ratchet, here we go. Alright, so I brought the breaker bar because these are absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna take out the breaker bar. 
we'll break these ones and then this is the crank here the crank is underneath will be exposed we're going to take off these here um, get our pistons and rods out and we'll move on to removing both sides so that we can get the crank out all right so now we've uh, broken all six of these um, they're all nice and loose now now you can take them all out nice and easy so we'll go ahead and remove this and we'll jump to taking out the rods and pistons we were actually able to get it off we just hit it with the soft face hammer this is what it looks like here the bolts that right you yeah. see how both of them come up so you could start with that take them off yeah and then when you're pushing it off use the end of the hammer to put them down and i have special so you don't score the crank when it's coming out. I'll get it for you. Yeah, thank you. So. All right, so we've gotten the first piston out here. Um, so basically where we're at right now is you take off the top part here, and then you want to put these sleeves on to protect your crank, and then you're just going to take the back side of a hammer or something or a screwdriver, you want to tap it out, and you're going to catch it on the other side, just like this here. You want to make sure that your rod in here lines up with the hole. Yeah, so we do it with all four. All right, so now that we have piston um, two and three out here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the crank, and we're gonna get the other two pistons up at the top, so we can work on them without damaging um, the crank at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we have the rods and the pistons out, um, we're gonna tackle these four here. And then I believe um, we take off this side here, this four here. We're gonna remove this. Or I think it's connected to this side actually. And then we're gonna take off this side, and it's gonna be able to come out completely. And then this block is gonna be ready to uh, be taken to get bored. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then it should be finished. Alright, so we ran into, ran into a little bit of issues with taking this off here. Um, well, anyway, there's a bolt here. I believe this is a tensioner for the belt. Yeah, so that bolt there, that's a tensioner. Um, anyway, we have a bolt just behind it that we need to get to, and we are not able to. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this with our breaker bar here, and then, yeah, I'll remove this plate here, this side. So before we move on to kind of knocking this side out here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove, we have one, two, three, four, five bolts on this side here. Um, this is the side actually where your transmission would mount up if anyone was wondering. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna knock those out and then I'll lift it off and you guys will see what happens. Okay, so I have all these bolts out. Now if you look here, you can kind of see the crease. Um, so right there, I might put like a screwdriver or something, but one way or another, I've kind of got to hit this out because it's not going to come out if I just pull it. But yeah, I'm going to set up a um, tripod and I'm going to just kind of show you guys how to do it.
So now that this side is out, um, I'm going to go ahead and tap this side here. There's another crease. Um, I'm just going to peel away this gasket. And we're going to just kind of lift it all out. Okay, so now that we have all the parts off here, we're gonna head to cleaning the block itself now. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it with some brake parts cleaner and a rag, and I'm gonna hit this whole thing until we get it clean. So now, to prevent anything from rusting, we're gonna go ahead and wipe this down, wipe it dry, and we're gonna spray it with some multi-purpose grease. Multi, multi -purpose grease. We're gonna do the same with the crank and everything else that uh, we need to spray down and that we don't want to rust. All right, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's all greased up in here. Um, we're gonna prevent lots of rust because you do not want um, your block to be rusty here. But we did a good job cleaning the outside. The outside should be fine. Um, you can see it now, it's actually way better than what it was before. It used to be all dirty and disgusting. Um, even in here, it used to be nasty, but we got nice and clean, both sides. Now we're gonna take this apart. Uh, I just need to take this off here. We're gonna dry this up, um, grease it, then we're gonna throw it in between here, and then throw it in a box to store it to keep it safe, because your crank is very important not to damage that. Thanks for watching. 